Hey, how's it going everyone? Today we're going to talk about this right here, which was previously patched. You might be thinking, how the heck did you do this? Well, it's quite simple and we'll get into that right now. So this is only possible if you're on Xbox. So unfortunately, if you're on Steam, this is not possible. Of course, you can use the console command to download old patches, but still, I tried it, it did not work. Now, on the other hand, if you're on Xbox, you're in luck. Sort of. So why am I saying sort of? Well, because if you have the digital version of Starfield only, then you're not going to be able to do this at all. It's impossible. Yet, if you have the disc version, you can do this, of course. So how do you do this? What you're going to do is head over towards the settings, go towards your memory or your storage, and you're going to uninstall the game's files. So locate Starfield, uninstall it. Once you've done that, you can then eject the CD out go towards the settings, and then make sure that you're in offline mode. Or what you can do is just simply disconnect off of your Wi-Fi or pull out the modem core, internet core, tomato, tomato. And once you've done all those steps, all you need to do is then stick the CD back inside. You will be offline. Then when you do go inside the game, obviously you're not going to be downloading any patches because you're in offline mode or you may not even have your internet connected. So when you do load the game up, there's not going to be a patch, there's not gonna be a single thing. You're going to be on the default version of the game, so you're gonna be basically on day one patch. This means you can head towards really any spot in the game that has had a chest underneath the map. This means Aquila City. Definitely you can head over towards Neon and grab all those three chests that can be located on the left side. If you like, you can check out my previous videos if you're able to do this disc version method. There's just various spots and I will list those down below if you guys do need them. So this is possible only on Xbox and you do have to have the disc version. Digital version does not work. If you've done everything successfully, you can then head over here and do exactly what I've done, which is get outside of the map. And then you can head downwards down below and then you should see that chest in the distance. Now that we have that covered, I do want to go over an awesome XP method. Some would consider this next one definitely an exploit. We are going to be using the animal husbandry, and we will be taking advantage of the animals here. So what you can tell on screen is that it says 127 XP. I'm almost there at 130. Very close. Now this location can be found over here on the far right side, which is going to be Hawking. You can locate this pretty fairly easy, but honestly, uh, it's best if you just take a look on the screen here and kind of trace where I'm going. So we're going to go from Alpha to the right to Olympus to Cheyenne to all the way towards Crix, and then we're going to go all the way down and just continue this path. You will eventually find Hawking's right here on the right side. There is going to be quite a few creatures over here, so just watch out. What we are looking for specifically here is going to be the Hunting Slot Geophage. This is a pretty awesome animal creature, whatever you want to call it. it. Sort of looks like a dinosaur in my opinion, but I don't know. Kind of, I don't actually, I can't even say it. I can't even say it. Looks like you got a little bit of the downs. Anyways, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to head over towards the right side and we're going to locate more animals. Once you have located more of those animals, you can then place down an outpost. Next, place down an animal husbandry. Then what you should see next is some animals pop up or creatures. And what you're going to do is head towards the right side interact with the terminal we're going to choose this one right here which is going to be spice then we'll go towards the right side most of you should already know about this method we're going to just shoot all of these monster creatures animals whatever right you see it says 113 xp how did i boost my xp higher well what you will need to do is rest if you have the ability to craft certain things like certain uh, xp boost i'm not too sure if you can actually craft any of those xp boosts to be quite honest but if you can definitely do it but what i'm going to be doing here is i'm going to then rest and i'm going to consume some of the food items that i've picked up along the way which will give me some xp boost you can see it on the screen right here which it's going to be alien tea shepherd's pie and tranquilla tranquilla or tequila whatever the heck that word is i i kind of briefly read through it so we're going to go towards the right side we're going to spawn in the enemies by repairing the door because if you shoot the box every time it's going to destroy the whole entire animal husbandry so you will need to go towards the right side to repair the door so the animals will pop up 
And with those XP boosts, you should roughly get around 120 to maybe 127 XP, depending on how many XP boosts you have used. Moving onwards here, we're going to talk about the good old max ship glitch. Previously, if you have watched that video, some of you already know about this. The only reason why I am bringing it up now is because I've had some questions sent to me, such as, well, does this work with the Star Eagle? And I actually answered that question within the video, but I guess some people kind of skipped through it. So I'm going to show that that is possible as well, that this works on all of the ships. I did show two yesterday, but this is going to be the third one technically. So what you can tell here is that I'm at Mars and I'm going to talk to the ship vendor. We are going to purchase a bunch of ships. Or what you can do instead is just simply rob a few and then store them. Personally, what I would recommend is that you store the ships that you are going to use. If you end up storing some random ones, you can of course customize them, but I would just recommend storing the ships that you really do plan on using. What I'll be doing now is heading over towards Aquila City, signing up for the Rangers, completing all the tasks, because at the very end, you will be rewarded with this ship right here. Once you have been rewarded with the Freestar Ranger ship, you can then head over towards the ship vendor, and you should see at the top that it will say 11 out of 11, or 1 out of 11. This will work with just about any quest that rewards you with a ship. Just note that one down. This is not going to work if you try to go and rob a ship and then try to take it back. That's not going to work. This will allow you to go over the 10 out of 10 ship maximum, so definitely try this one out and hope you guys enjoy it. Continuing on, last but not least, if you're not able to do the very first method that I showed you at the beginning of this video, where you're able to pretty much go underneath the map and grab those chests again, this is what you can do instead. I know, I know, a good portion of you already know about it, but if you're not able to do the very first method, you can just do this instead. So now when it comes down to these updates, if you guys have checked the video out two days ago, where I pretty much gave you the assumption that, well, the update might be coming out here soon. And it does appear that way. I believe they're making some adjustments probably to fix up more bugs. Hopefully nothing that has to do with any of these glitches. But if it does have to do with some of those glitches, what I would recommend is that you avoid downloading the update. Now, at the same time, you may want to download the update because this will fix a good portion of the bugs when it is released. But I mean, honestly, all in all, if you need to, I would not download it and then just take advantage of the XP, the credit glitches and all that stuff before then, because you never know. You never know if they might just come along and patch a few things it really it just depends on how the situation is i mean if you guys can recall there was a patch where they pretty much fixed all the under map chests which again i did show you how to do that after patch but this is pretty much the end of the video if you guys have any questions please comment down below i will be responding back within the first hour or two as usual i appreciate all the love and support from each and single one of you that comes by every single day to just check out the video i love it so much and if you are part of the notification gang squad whatever crew definitely comment down below and let me know other than that see you all in the next video